up everybody so i want to talk about ott streaming damn now ott streaming is where you can start your own netflix hulu peacock tv all them things that you stream on your phone or your tv to watch video content and zeus tv now i want to talk about vimeo ott because i had joined them now starting if you use vimeo bro it's so easy and so simple like i have my own and when i started off let me show y'all actually when i started off with this i was like yo this is very very simple the cons i'm gonna get straight to the con the cons is video time the video time on there and the cost of it for me is too much. So I was doing some thinking. I was like, okay, like, uh, I'm going to just tell everybody it ain't even worth it. But for some people, it can be worth it. Now, Zeus uses Vimeo OTT, OTT for their streaming services. You know, and I mean, you just got to come up with your price and model to be able to afford the time because that's how they get you. And they don't tell you that up front. Like, they have the pay-as-you-go plan. Then they have, like, a business. And then they got, like, some other one where you got to contact them if you're trying to do it, like, real big. But it doesn't say nothing on the pay-as-you-go that you got to pay for the time. So I'm uploading videos. They give you one hour free. And then I, I get this message when I upload my third video. Oh, you're running out of time. You just uploaded your last video. And I'm looking at the pricing on here. I'm like, yo, this is uh, expensive. These people are crazy. But let me show y'all what it looks like on here. So, you know, it was called OTV. Um, I had a company that I've started uh, probably like two, three years ago called OFI. But this is when I first got in the realm of business. Now, it's generated money, but I refunded everybody. And I was telling them, some of the people, because I had some complaints, I'm being honest, that I'm uh, transitioning into an app. I had like some weird dude. He was like a hater. We going back and forth and stuff because he tried to do something. I had a I had a a, a model where uh, my members could get a PlayStation for a discount. And these people, it said on there, you have to be a member. People are just purchasing this around uh, Black Friday. They just purchasing, just thinking they're gonna get over it. I'm telling this dude, he's like, oh, it's a scam. Like, it's not a fucking scam. It's just I'm transitioning. You're not even a member. So I'm telling the dude, like, and I'm, I'm letting him know, like, oh, we transition, working on the app. He's like, what's the app? I'm like, well, I'm going to tell you so you can go uh, hate. So go on. Get up out of here. But refund everybody money and stuff and got that out of the way. But anyway, that's what OTV come for. You know, just that. That's, that's a brand that I have, and I'm transitioning all of that into what I got going now. But, you know, this is pretty dope. And I had it to where a lot of people would be able to just watch video content on here. So let me show y'all real quick. Like, you know, I had a series on there, Life of Jesmo. You know, learn with Jesse on his journey of success, starting a business with God and changing his life along the way. He will give you some gems to help you source information to better your life and connect you to trusted sources in your business life or personal. You know, I had some video content on here, and it's pretty dope. You know, I might continue with this, but I think the way I'm going to do it is just, you know um help people because i know that it's somebody this is not an industry where i see myself being a top player you know it, it was something that i was going to start to to create content monetization for the community and for content creators so they can monetize their lifestyle too but their pricing on here is crazy so let me see if i can pull it up real quick let me go to how did i do it yesterday upload so as you can see i didn't, I didn't catch this at first so it has video upload time, buy more hours. So I have 10 minutes left. So I didn't see this at first. I was just over here happy, like, oh, like this is lit. 10 hours of upload time for $99, 25 for 149, 50 hours for 199. And for me, I was like, yo, that's real excessive. Excuse this room, y'all see this room. I don't want to hear nobody. Hey, that room junk is hell. Yeah, it is all oh, it is, what it is. Anyways. 50 hours i was like ah, that's crazy because you know if you if you license in movie content or you making movie content you have to be real strategic on whatever it is that you're doing i was thinking about licensing a movie most movies an hour and a half two hours so you know if you're doing 10 hours for 99 dollars they gonna get you then if you're doing 199 they gonna they gonna get you it's like ooh, if you know how to really 
do coding and just editing and, and building a layout of this, you can do your own OTT streaming service from scratch. And I have pros and cons with this. I got another video where I talk about this. Uh, it's called, um, I think, You Are the Asset. That's the title of the video. I might change the, the title. might leave it that. But I was just talking about like using Vimeo. It's no benefit to it because they have in their terms and condition that any content that you upload, they get the right to use it without even telling you they don't have to tell you so if you buy some licensed content they can literally go branch them off another i'm just saying not saying that they would do this but they can go branch them off another little service and they have rights be off your right just automatically and there's nothing you could do about it so say you go buy the the new movie what's the new movie that came out that i've seen um let's just say I, i've seen um what the hell is that movie called? Coming to America 2. So say I license Coming to America 2. They automatically get rights to it if I upload it with my license and all that to their platform. They get to utilize that. So it's like, ah, that's, that's kind of risky. So, you know, in business, you got to understand how to build your own platform. So I could utilize their service right now, but I know long term as I generate money, I'm going to get my own. You know, people like to restrict you from information, but you got to learn how to understand what's going on right here how does this work it's the ott stream of services they have to upload where you can upload your video content and they have to house the data the video so you have to have data servers to house that they have other servers other services out there where it's just people who you store your data for video on demand and whatnot and they charge way cheaper than this this is how they get you so then i was like okay Instead of using Video OTT, I mean Vimeo OTT, I could just use Vimeo as a service on a personal level, uploading video content and bringing value to my community. Then I start learning they do the same thing on that way. So I'm like, damn, you know, you only get like five gigabytes of upload time per week. You know, and I'm like, okay, most of my videos that I upload on recording on my phone, three gigabytes. So I'll be, I wouldn't be able to get that demand of value to people. YouTube, I could do the same. Only cons with that is when you put videos on the unlisted and it's just by a shareable link that people can access them. You can just click on the video link and it'll go straight to YouTube and you can just save it to a playlist. Whether you can make it public then if people follow your YouTube channel they can see the video or you know it's just it's, just, it's a lot of risk but you just got to understand what you're going to do what you're doing and you know find your own shit try to build up your own assets like how these people have this is their assets so you figure out a way to 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 start your own like i could start my own video ott streaming service from dead ass scratch and built the website up and house the content because it's no different from using somebody's website builder and you have to upload the limit images because you have to upload the images like the let me show y'all here these images you have to upload on their back end office. Let me show you real quick. So if you go like right here and you go to, you know, collections, stuff like that, you got to upload the images yourself as you see. Thumbnail, additional thumbnails, and you know. So using a website builder, it's the same. It's just organizing, making the contact and the user experience when they come to your website. The feel of it, you know, you just got to make it have a, have a cool feel to it. So this is simple you just have an upload button if people want to upload content and you do it on the back end i mean it, it, you got to do the work that's just the whole point so i really don't need this but for people who want to utilize this it's, it's a simple service i'll give that to them a simple service it's just coming up with a pricing model being able to license content or being able if you're a content creator yourself you have a good camera you can make content and start your own then get people to come into your realm you know i don't want to restrict nobody so i will talk about it it's a cool little system it's easy um you know y'all see the little prices for the upload time and you pay a dollar per customer they have different plans i chose to pay as you go dollar per customer and the the tricky part about this is because they have where you can give somebody a free lifetime membership so i added uh, myself just to test it out to see how it work when I log in but they will charge you a dollar so me being a self subscriber on one of my other email accounts I owe them a dollar <laughs> so that's just that but it, it's, it's pretty cool and you know on, on top of that I have a product too I have this as a product not Vimeo just starting your own 
OTT services as a free gift to people that are a part of my community that I help you out, guide you, build your website, make your logo, uh, work with you on getting your, if you, if you going to really push through with this and be serious, getting it on to Roku and, you know, different devices like that, Apple TV and stuff like that. And, you know, into the Google Play Store, it's simple stuff. It's not hard. That's why I encourage people to learn and I don't want to strict nobody from learning this type of information. This type of information is an asset just to yourself. You can utilize that as a skill and help other people and whatnot. Hold on. Cut this heater off. But she want to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of this. It also has Google Analytics. And when it comes to business, you're going to need Google Analytics. Like Google Analytics, I have that set up throughout my app so I know where people are at at all times, location, what type of device that they're on. You use that type of data just as far as it can come from, it can go to marketing, knowing where people at. Say I got, I'm in California. Say I see a whole bunch of people in in a certain section of my app, but they're coming from California. Then I know the general area I can market better, you know, because you don't want to just be wasting money when it comes to marketing and stuff. And when it comes to like just promoting anything, you know, products or whatnot, you, you got to know that type of data, bro. Data, you got to know that data, but. I'm just ready to get this started, get this out here, and, uh, you know, in business, too, I'll get this advice. You just got to start. You just got to start. Nothing is going to be where you just set up something, and it just runs and make money, and you just sit back. That shit is bullshit. Like, when people tell you making money from their phone sales coming in, they don't really want what comes with running a business. They don't really want. You got to look at the fun shit. It's fun learning all this shit. For me, it is. For some people, you know, they might be lazy. But when you start into something from scratch and you passionate about it, be fucking passionate about it. Another thing, too, because that's what I learned, too, as far as talking to my girl the other day. Okay. If you have something that you're passionate about, but you have no way to make it happen, you need to start a side hustle. Something that's simple. It don't have to be something hard. Something simple to get you to that point. Simple as that. I was talking to my girl about starting this OTT streaming service. It's very fucking simple. You know, if me and her was really chop it up and she get an understanding of how this is, because I send her the links, I do the same thing with my brother. I want people to go through it. If I send you something, this would be for family, this could be for regular people. Learn it. Nine times out of ten, when I'm sending something to you, I'm I'm learning this. Like I just learned what this Vimeo OTT is. So I'm hands on with it. If we building up something together, we got to learn this together so that way we on the same damn page. Because if I if I get to a point where I pass people up and motherfuckers, I gave you the opportunity, you're going to lose out on the opportunity. You know, that goes for anybody. That's family, friends, whoever. But, you know, that shit is stressing me out to be 100. Because, like, damn, you know, I, I want you motherfuckers to learn. But, you know, I was telling my girl, like, look, she's passionate about starting her hair business. I'm telling her this is an easy route that we can go. Simple as that. You and your friend, we can manage this and get this up. And she had an idea before talking about starting our film business. We were watching like Bad Girls Club, stuff like that. You don't have to have the skills. You can source that talent out. There's people out there who are in for that photography film and the filming and they know how to shoot with that camera. You give me a camera, I'm going to learn that shit. That's one of my goals too. I'm going to learn that shit. I have a lot of childhood videos where I used to just walk around with a camera recording everything. You'd be surprised. Like I'm going to start uploading these videos. I recorded damn near my whole childhood, high school all time, I recorded so much shit. I used to at high school. I got so many videos that's valuable content that I realized that I might have to chart, charge charging people I grew up with if they want to see this content. You know, because this shit, I was the one with the camera I'm recording people rapping, all type of shit back in the uh, jerking and you know all them days. If a lot of y'all don't know what jerking is, when I, I couldn't even explain it. it was just dance, jerking, freak dancing. I got all type of valuable shit. We used to roast. Rap, freestyle, all type of shit. I got a whole bunch of videos from high school fights, everything. Cause I used to just be walking around with my camera. I just like recording, so I got so much content from people like dead ass. I got, a, I got a bunch. Let me show y'all this old ass computer I got. This is my childhood room. But this computer right here, this computer is, is old. Y'all can see it's dusty, it's hell, broken up. And all that, but I have so much valuable content on here from people I grew up with and just recording shit back from when they had the T Mobile sidekicks and whatnot. So, you know, I got valuable stuff on there. But, anyways, down the road, y'all get to see my life, my childhood, people I grew up with, friends, and whatnot. But, more so, I want to keep this about this streaming stuff, those are pros and cons to it. It's 
pretty pretty cool little layout. I don't mind helping people. You know, I didn't know how to work this just a couple of days ago. Now I know. You know, you gotta learn how to just browse and just same way. We ain't know it ain't like phones came with instructions how to work. You just got on the damn phone, start clicking through shit. That's how I start doing on this Vimeo OTT. Figured it out. You know, I'll enter stuff on here. You know, and then go to the damn thing and uh, see where it look like. Like, oh, okay, it's right there. That's what it look like. You know? So, um, you know, they give you the whole little price and model of... I'm going to have to block that out. I just see my email address pop up. And I've been getting spammed like crazy. But, you know, see how they give you the whole little layout of this. You set your price for annual, for yearly, and people can gift the subscription. It's the same thing as Zeus. Just look at this layout. And watch when I go to Zeus Network. It's the same layout. I was like, damn, this Zeus look the same as the shit I got. I'm like, yeah, they got to be using this. They using this. Zeus Network. Except there's a little bit more better laid out. But, you know, you know, to subscribe now. You go to the subscribe button. Check out. Oh, they, know, they got their set up a little bit. But look, you see how it's the same as my shit? Gift this subscription. It's the same exact shit. Look. Same exact shit. You know, and uh, mine's is nice TV, but they got it on there, and I don't mind helping people on finding you a domain name to change the domain name if this what you wanna this what you wanna do. But um let's go back to this. So, you know, this is Zeus Network, create your little account. There's a little bit layout, but I I, I assure you I know that they're using Yeah. So, you know, annual subscription. Same thing on here, annual subscription. Yeah, your old TV subscription will make you authorize the site appearing as OTT, nice TV to place one dollar. Wow, same thing on here. So, but you can change it all over. It's the same layout, you know, Zeus Network, you know, OTT, I mean, OTV. But whatever your brand is, you have your brand up and we get y'all rolling. Because I don't want to restrict nobody from going out into this industry and being able to accomplish. People can, this could be something simple. And this is digital, bro. This is right having a computer. You know, you could do this from like a tablet or something. But I'm used to doing this on a computer, though. You know, you got to have like a good, like probably a good tablet or a good quality damn phone or something. And you can do this all from your damn phone. Have video content. You know, I've been uh, working with a couple people on licensing content, but I, I had to get it better because for me, licensing content, you know, content can go anywhere from what I read, 200 to 10,000 damn dollars, depending. I found a good person right now, a good company. I'm going to put them in the app and uh, let them know, like, maybe we can come up with a better partnership on, you know, y'all give me some free content to license. I can bring y'all some customers because... On the end of me spending like anywhere three hundred to you know ten thousand to license a movie or something, and then using Vimeo OTT and they charging you know all the ninety nine dollars for ten hours of video time. It's like every couple of movies, depending on how long it is, is gonna cost money. It's gonna they're gonna be getting milk in your pocket. Excuse me, milk in your damn pockets. But um. Yeah, they got different plans on there. Y'all can go look them up and stuff. I'm going to make video, more video content on talking about this. And also for feedback, I need people to comment. Like, what is it y'all trying to learn? Like, dead ass. Like, anything y'all trying to learn, I'm going to be making content that I feel is valuable to the community and things that I've been learning too that's valuable to myself on where I'm trying to go. And maybe people can pick up the heat and learn too. Because, you know, I, I know where I'm going. So that's all I can say. You know, people can go in different industries. It's just certain skill sets, certain things you need to know. Be able to learn how to source information. That's why I try to teach the research or research skill. You know, it starts with you asking questions. Simple as that. Like a kid should be able to teach you that. They ask too many goddamn questions. You ever been around a kid? It's like, damn, I ain't doing any damn questions. Kid ask questions. So you got to keep that same type of spark in the real world. How does that work? How does this work? How does that work? Simple as that. How do these people run this system? And you figure out. And the key words is always private label and white label. Simple as that. And then whatever it is you're trying to start, whether it's, I ain't going to show my little healthy drink. I got over here juice. So you start, I got hydrogen peroxide, tahine. You figure out a company that make tahine. Now, tahine, leave tahine alone because 
They don't want nobody coming out here trying to make no tahini and that shit tastes like some weird shit. But coffee, you know, we got a Starbucks brand right here. You can start your own private label, bro. Chocolate, I got some good ass chocolate over here. You start your own. But anyways, that's about it. I'm not gonna keep this video too long because it takes a long time to upload these damn videos. I gotta work on making them shorter, but if you like this content, give a thumbs up. Today, I am releasing my app. Today is April 22nd. My app is already in the, uh, on the App Store, M-B-O-R-G on Android, but it will have a updated version, you know, and it's going to be out there. It's going to be dope, and that's it. I'm going. Y'all have a good one.